A one and two. A one, two, three, four. Check one, check one. Hi YouTube, Neil here with Faces Interiors. Welcome back to our channel. So in this week's video, we're gonna show you how we transform this mass-produced chair into a high-end luxury piece of furniture. So as always, if you like upholstery tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you'll see every time a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram as well. We put a lot of short clips up there, little tips and tricks on there as well. Also, don't forget to follow us over on TikTok too. TikTok too. We keep it quite lighthearted there and we do a few tips and tricks on there as well. So let's get started with this video. This is how to reupholster a dining chair into very high quality. Action. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna strip this chair down and make good so a customer of ours has chosen a beautiful leery fabric which because you know most of you are bloody boring but this customer has chosen a really leery fabric which is going to look really cool contrast piping on the back so this is going to be a good one so we're going to strip this down we're going to strip it down take all the old fabric off see what's underneath sort of see how we're going to build it up from there so this is a very bog standard chair. I don't think it's particularly expensive. This is why you pay us, huh? Because we care. It doesn't come from a production line. We strip it down, we look at what we can do better. It doesn't come from some bloody factory somewhere where they bloody cut corners. This is why we do what we do. So we'll just take this apart. Uh, we'll start tearing this down and see what we've got underneath. Right. Oh God, look at this. Uh-oh. Right. Right, it's all in one piece, so it's all gonna come off. As one. Right, that can go in the bin. Just getting my hand under, lifting all this old foam. Oh no, it's a bald. Can't be having that. Might be wrong here, but I think the back is going to be the same. Oh, it only is. Well, that didn't take long to strip off, did it? You're hard, showing off. Right, and that's that frame stripped out. Check the frame. I mean, it's pretty good. It's not that strong, but I kind of fixed it. This is no problem for me. That foam, we're gonna reuse, that's okay. It's a pretty good nick to be fair. But we are gonna have to rebuild, not rebuild this, but to be fair, that rail doesn't need to be there. That could be, I'm gonna move that back because on the seat, on the back, you're gonna lean back onto it and you're gonna feel that. One. So what I'm gonna do is just move that back so it's not at the front there. I'm gonna move it to the back and obviously I'm gonna put a rail across here as well. Right, so now, see here, we have a gap. So it's hopefully enough so when you sit on it, you won't feel that hard. Even if you've got padding on there, you won't feel that hard rail as soon as you sit down. Now we need to do this bottom rail. So that is the 28 and a half. So I said 28 and a half, which is there. 
We use our little straight edge. Let's make sure we get a nice line. So what I've done guys is I've cut this rail. Now that is gonna sit in there. Now that fits perfectly. That is our inside back rail. I'm gonna try and pin near the top and the bottom. So, so when I go to put my screw in, it, I can go straight in the middle there without hitting. As you can see, we have stripped it down, put a new rail in here, move this rail back. So when you sit on there, you're not gonna feel that rail because it was at the front. Now, what I've also decided I'm gonna do is I'm going to sand down the legs because these legs, they're a bit meh. Bit of a blank color for the sort of fabric that's going on them. So we're gonna sand them down, put a new color on them and just really sort of brighten them up, make them look really cool. Um, we're gonna use like a like an onyx kind of um, stain on them, then we're gonna lacquer them, then we can start getting back down to the upholstery. So I'm just using an electric sander and 120 grit sandpaper to take the lacquer and the color out of these legs. So this is a, this is like a stocking net that we use. Obviously I've got my gloves on, so I'm gonna be using a really dark stain to darken these legs up. Just generally make them look awesome. So I'm just adding the stain to the legs. As you can see, it really brings out the natural grain of the wood. So now we're attaching some elastic web into the seat, pulling down nice and tight in the front and leaving a small gap in between each one. And now, we go side to side and on the first row we go over and under and then on the next row we go under and over. The same concept also applies to the backs. And what I'm doing here guys, I'm just putting another one right over the top of that rail because I know I don't want to feel that back, that back rail. I don't want to feel that, so if there's webbing on top of it, you're less likely to. So here I'm just attaching some Hessian, I believe this is 9 ounce. Um, the reason we use Hessian is to provide strength on top of the seat and it also stops the foam from collapsing through the webs. Right, so that's the frame done. So what we've done is we've obviously put new webbing on, new Hessian on top of that. So now we're gonna start putting our seat together. So what I'm gonna start by doing is putting this little block here in the middle. Now the purpose of this block is to give you a nice dome. So what I'm going to do is put that block in and that sort of gives you that nice shape. So if you just put foam on top of it, it will just sit flat. So we'll put that on. I'm going to put some felt around it. Then I'm going to put the, some of the original foam back on, which is like an inch with like a half inch underneath. Staple that round and then I'm going to go half inch over the top and that's going to be a lovely seat. Now what I'm doing here is we're just packing out these gaps. Not too much, just to, because if you didn't do this, there would be a massive drop off and you'd sort of feel it underneath the foam. So here we're just trying to level it out a bit. Right, so the next part is, what I am going to do is just put a little bit of felt across here, just to sort of level that out there, because it's a little bit bumpy. So, remember, if what's underneath ain't on right, the top ain't gonna go on right. It's all about your foundations, like building.
So here I'm just sticking down this half inch blue foam using the spray glue. And here I'm just gonna make some cuts into the foam so I can push it through under the back rail, which is that piece of wood that we put in earlier. Here I'm just cutting, getting rid of any foam that we don't need. Following along the edge. Here I'm just cutting out the corners of the foam because where the two pieces meet, um, there's a fair bit of excess so you can cut that away. And here we are just attaching the Dacron. Right guys, so now we're doing our back. So what I've done is I've just flipped it over. I'm just putting some cotton felt in the middle just because if we just put foam on there, it'll just sit pretty flat. Then we've got some one inch foam to go over the top. So here I'm just cutting off the excess blue foam. So that's one inch blue on top of the felt. And here I'm just attaching the half inch over the top of that, but that's gonna go underneath and it's gonna roll around the corners as well to give you that nice rounded edge. Just gonna start uh, writing down my measurements. So I've got inside back, which is here, outside back and seat. So inside back, outside back and the seat. They're the three panels we need to cut for this chair. So I'm just gonna show you how we measure up. So the inside back, Actually, let's start from the bottom. So you wanna, what you wanna do is make sure you've got enough fabric to get under here. It's very, very tight. Enough there to tack off there. And then you wanna come up and over. I don't know if you can see that. But that is approximately 31, 31 inches. So I'm just gonna write that down. And then side to side, we're just gonna go your widest point so that is there to there. I'm gonna say that is 23 inches. On the back, I'm gonna do the same, make sure we've got enough to go over. So we're gonna go 14, 28. The seat's a little bit more tricky. So the seat, depends on how you're doing the seat, if you're gonna put a border here, or you could run a border around there. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop a seam here and a seam here on the corner. So what we need to do is get our total measurement so our total measurement is at the widest point. As you can see, this chair is wider at the front than it is at the back. So that is where we want to measure it. So we want to allow two inches there, two inches. Then I need front to back measurement. Front to back measurement is like we did on the back. Make sure you've got enough on the front, on the, on the back to tack off two. And then again, that is 27. Then we need to measure I'm gonna measure these corners. So let's say that's four inches. So I've measured from there to how much fabric I'm gonna need there is four inches. Then side to side, you can see where the legs go. You can measure the legs. That is about seven, just over 17 and a half. So I'm just gonna go on the foam because you don't want it to be too tight. So I'm gonna go 18. I want that to finish 18. So I'm gonna go 19 inches that will allow an inch for sewing so that when that finishes that's going to be 18. I'm also when I'm sewing I'm also going to flare just when I get to this point here, I'm just going to flare that in so it doesn't sit dead flat here so it sort of curves in so there's not there's not a, um, a little point here that's empty and also we're doing a contrast piping so I'm just going to yeah let's do that as well so we're doing a contrast piping for the back so we just want to measure how much we're going to need Sixty-six. So the piping needs to be sixty-six long. Right, let's go and do some cutting. So this is our beautiful pattern fabric. So you can see that pattern repeats there. One, two, three. This pattern repeats one, two, three, four. We've only got we've got two chairs to do, so we need to make the most of what we've got. So you also need to do some good planning when it comes to cutting fabric. The seat is the biggest panel. Basically, what you want to make sure is your pattern follows all the way down the middle. What we're gonna cut this part is the inside back pattern. We need to make sure that that is the center of the outside back and the seat as well. So I'm gonna start marking this out. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my little nips in the middle of the pattern. So I know where the middle of the fabric is. And I'm just going to mark the top, top of the fabric, meaning the top of the velvet, because the pile runs down. So the top is there. Or you could mark this side as front, because it's the seat, so the front is there. So top and front. Then let's cut this inside back panel out. So, the top of our inside back, I always put IB for inside back, top, and then again, you can nip the middle, so you know where to, when you're tacking off, you know where your middles are. Right, so, so you know earlier on I was talking about cutting out the corners, so I went four inches up from the bottom, because obviously that's the top, four inch, and four inch. Just need to go 19 which is obviously nine and a half from the middle so nine teen nine and a half 19 so now we just join these lines up and we snip that out so once that is sewn together that will sit nicely on the corners. Right, so if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I'm always on about anchor points. I'm always on about anchor points, anchor points, anchor points. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure this corner is exactly where I want it to be. And then I'll just put one in there Right, so they are exactly where I want them to be. So now, we're gonna take our fabric to the back. Right, so there's a rail here, and I can feel it with my finger. So I'm gonna cut up to that, and then cut a V in the fabric around that rail, and the same this side. So now we can push that all through. Right, so here's our fabric at the back. So I'm just gonna pull it tight. I'm gonna put, put a few in here, all the way along, just making sure it stays straight. So now, I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna pull this section from the middle outwards and across. So like I said, I'm gonna pull it from the middle and then back at the same time. So these are all, again, anchor points, anchor points, anchor points, anchor points. So now, we're pretty much fully anchored on. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pull nice and straight there on the front. So I'm coming, pulling all the excess out. I'm just gonna tack that off in the middle. Again, the same, pulling the fabric forward. I'm just working all of this forward. And we're gonna go the other way as well now. Now we're at these points. You wanna cut up to the frame. Then I'm just gonna chop away. And also when you pull tight around this side, And pull that like so. So now we can tuck all of this. See what I'm doing? I'm just literally and this side stapled down as well. So now Start working our way back. Right, 
Obviously gonna do the same here as well. We're gonna cut around this leg. Right, so now we have the seat on. We're just gonna do our back. So again, as we always do, if you tuck the Dacron in like that, you can now spray. Without damaging the fabric. So up she goes. So now we are putting the inside back on, making sure that we are in the center. There'll be a nip there, you probably can't see it. But these are just temporaries going in. Then we push the fabric down and we make cuts around the rail to push the fabric. See, I'm pushing that fabric, that flap there's been left down the side, and then all the rest is getting pushed underneath the inside back. So now you can see here, you can see that center nip. So that's in the center of the chair. So we've done a center at the top, center at the bottom, which is stapling across the bottom of the inside back. Now we're gonna take the temporaries out of the top, and pull the fabric nice and tight over the top so we get a nice tight pull now the bottom's on so rolling your hand up the front bringing all the excess over making sure you stay straight you can see there if you cut the fabric straight you'll be able to see that you're straight here we're just folding over the, the flap on the inside back so we'll show you in more detail in a second here you can see I'm cutting, cutting away some of the foam folding the fabric under just trying to get that nice finish at the bottom and now rolling the rest of the fabric around and stapling off as I work my way up the inside back right now then now then now then right we are putting this outside back on this chair so as you can see we've done some nice pleats on the top first of all we're gonna put our lining fabric on Right, so that's just for strength. Now we're gonna pull really tight this way. So now, our pink piping cord. Right, so, to get this piping to sit, I'm just gonna cut out this corner there so that will fold around like so so obviously we've, when we've done this pleat here we made sure it's nice and flat so the piping is going to sit nicely on here so what you can do is fold that how you want it to sit and you can sort of see there how much you want to cut out. So what you can do is get a pair of snips and literally just go wallop. So I'll show you how we finish this corner here. cutting out that excess so there's no not too much fullness in there so we just fold that on itself just so it finishes like so on the bottom right so now we get our new fabric hello just gonna put a nip in the center I'm just putting a few staples in to hold it in place. Now we have our back tacking strip. So that is fucking spot on Bevan. So here we are putting our metal gripper on or ply grip. 
stapling down in each hole, making sure it's all the way up to the piping cord so you get a nice clean finish. All the way down to the bottom, then we'll snip off the excess with our garden snips. I'll snuck them in there. Right, so what we need to do now is put some Dacron on and then we're ready to finish. Right, so we're ready to finish. So what I'm gonna do is, guys, I'm just gonna pull down as tight as I can, and just sort of catch that in there. I'm gonna do the same this side. Right, so that's in the middle. So here we are just using our little snips to cut away the excess fabric and then we're using our regulator to push the fabric behind the teeth of the metal gripper and then we push it down shut and then obviously we finish it, hammer it down so it doesn't come back up. Now here we are finishing the bottom of our inside back so we have to cut around the legs, make cuts and then it, it's a quite a it, bit, itty bitty job, you have to go bit by bit. I'm using regulators, skewers, trying to tuck all the fabric in, make sure it's a nice, nice, clean finish. Hammering the metal gripper down. Doing the same on the other side, cutting off the excess once it's all stapled down, put a bottom on, and Rob is your father's brother. So here it is, the finished product. Really, really happy with it. Thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you next time.